in Vanny B at the edge of a trail. I hiked, I painted, I went to another, I'm gonna post another plein air painting, but then I drove to my favorite trail where I have a parking spot that I always take. And after another little walk, I decided to turn the bio mat on and draw. Um, I'm designing the Doobie Oracle deck, the Doobie Universe Oracle deck. And the last part is the box cover. So that's what I'm up to. Oh, I got a thumbs up and nobody's watching. How'd that happen? <laughs> that's funny. Somebody must be here. I've never seen that. Okay, one person's here, one person thumbed up. Thank you. Um, we have to remind people to like the video. Um, I'm making a soup, I think. I have my big pot and I wanna just saute some veggies at the bottom. Hey, Michelle. I'm making like a healing soup and all I know so far what's gonna be in it is onion, garlic, ginger, celery, carrot, cabbage, and I'm making my own kind of like brothy thing. I'll probably add a little miso and then I'll just make a nice broth. And I do have a little bit of white rice that is brewing because a little bit of rice in it just makes it so delicious. So I am, are you feeling better today? I am feeling like I went through a portal yesterday just in time for the eclipse today. And I came out the other side like, whoa, like I feel like I got reborn which doesn't make you feel that great when you went through some kind of war with yourself <laughs> through a portal. Um, and it makes some really big decisions, really big, and I needed to be in my own energy and I got my answers. Okay, we got our onion. So I'm gonna turn the stove on. I have mushrooms, I have shiitake mushrooms. They're my favorite thing to snack on. I slice, ooh, let me plug in the phone. I slice shiitakes and then I cook them with coconut oil Charging. Oh, we're live. so I cook them with coconut oil and sage I have to get some fresh sage sage fresh dried sage sage and garlic and salt and pepper and they're fatty and I cook them I don't like any moisture on my mushrooms so I cook them to the point where they're like almost dry and then over the next couple days I just leave them in a bowl and they're just like such a cute little snack to put on toast, avocado, to put on your rice bowl, anything you want. Okay, so we got that bowl going. I need to add some coconut oil there. We'll put it in our onions. Oh, you felt better after my live on Instagram. I'm so glad. I mean, sometimes it just makes you feel good that you're not alone. Like, I woke up so, so beyond crunchy. Like it was beyond. I was like, what happened to me? My face was red. I feel like I had a fight with not fun. Let's do the ginger. And there was, I don't know what it was about my live, but all of a sudden when I listened to my intuition and I was like, go live under the eclipse. I had no plan. It was just like, let's do this. And I'm so glad it helped. I think you'll really like the art journal new moons it's inspiring to hear other people and see their drawings it's fun all right we got ginger i don't want to forget the garlic hi darla og you were watching one of my lives on instagram just now that's the one that michelle and i were referring to the latest one where i'm in this green sweatshirt same day same place different time and um, we were just saying that it, it felt really good to me too. Like there was something about whatever came out of my mouth that just felt good. I called it wisdom, 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 yeah, wisdom, wisdom, wisdom and intuition or into wisdom, which might be a better, what do you call it? Anagram. What's it called when you put words together? All right, we got ginger. We're going to make a proper soup. I feel like this needs to be liquidy and hot and spicy and gingery. That's what I want. My $10, um, <laughs> look how cute this is. I think it was like $10 at Walmart. It works really well and it makes making rice like for one person and this could easily be for two. It's a mini and I love 
it. I love it. I love little things. And it feels so much less wasteful. You just make a little rice. It's gonna be ginger. I might put, I have some black garlic. That could be good. All right. I guess I, I'm, I was resistant to carrots this morning and then I was like, I probably need carrots. I was channeling, I have no idea what I said. I have no idea what I said. Okay, we are having carrots though. And kale, cute. I bought beets. And, yeah, oh God, this rug is gonna, I better get a rug pad for this. <laughs> That's not good feng shui if your feet are slipping on your rug. Yeah, towards the end, I think that's what, when you get in the groove, that's when the stuff comes. But it usually comes when I get the inspiration to turn on the camera with no plan. There is a plan that I don't know about. There's a plan of why I'm in Sedona that I don't know about. So it smells good in here already because onions and celery, it's all brewing. But I do need to get the garlic before I forget. Do we want to mess with the black garlic? I don't see why not. It's in a bag and I haven't used it yet. I don't know. I feel like I could use regular garlic for this. I have garlic paste, organic garlic paste in a little thing. And I got to say, it's pretty easy. I've never bought such a thing, but. So how are you feeling now? Like what? I felt heavy because there was something I needed to do that I didn't want to do. And there's still something I need to do that is a little bit hard to do, which I will do. Uh, what am I getting? Oh yeah. Let me show you. Take a look at the black garlic. It was recommended to me, North American grown, fresh organic black garlic. Have you used it? Ooh, oh, that was easy. Oh, I'm putting it in. Oh my, oh, what's happening here? You think your time difference is three hours new due to the time change. I'm not cooking really late, but it is nine o'clock, so it is a little bit late. I was in Vanny V just drawing, which I know when I come home, I do things like this. I make a video, I cook, I open the black garlic, and I'm not at my digital whatever. So I'm really trying to get a vision for the front, the box of the doobie deck, which I just until today didn't get. And then it's technical. Anna sent me like, you know, this centimeter by this centimeter. And then I'm like, is the DPI right? Maybe I should double the size because it looks grainy. So I'm going to go back at it tonight after I sort this dinner out. I'll have a nice dinner and lunch for tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'll have dinner for tonight, lunch for tomorrow. Probably dinner for tomorrow. I don't eat a lot. It's midnight there, so you are hopefully in bed, all cuddled up. Lately, I've been managing myself just reading at night. I do uh, a bath, the sauna, the biomat, and then I get in bed. But that's like, I'm not allowed to be in my studio past 11.30, otherwise I could be up till three. Not allowed. <laughs> Not allowed to have the bright lights on. I'm allowed. I just like to have daytime here. It feels so very good to partake in the daytime in Sedona. When you miss it, you feel like, oh, I'm missing all the beauty. And nothing really is going on outside for me after it gets dark. So then it's just a lot of time in the house. I figured it out, but then the seasons are going to change and it's going to get really hot 
and you have to get out early. You have to hike in the morning and hike in the evening, and then I'll be working inside during the day. Cabbage. Cabbage. Can you see what I'm doing? I don't know. You were reading. Oh, that's so nice. I mean, I'll watch some YouTube. Like, I'll watch an artist, a really calm artist sometimes, like Helen Cryer. <laughs> She's so peaceful. And so I'll watch that because it's just so soothing. Um, but other than that, I can't listen to something not, this is pretty peaceful. I'm chopping veggies. It's nighttime with Dad. It's appropriate. So I think I do want to get the miso. Why not? Miso. Miso, and then I'll get the chopped kale. I like when I use the things I have. It makes me feel really weird when I like buy all these cool stuff, and then I don't use it. It's like, doesn't make any sense. I'm going to show you guys the mushrooms. I always cook them on medium, not high. And they're going to be like chewy, crunchy, salty, fat bits. <laughs> they're amazing. Um, awesome. What else do I need? Uh, chili flakes in there. Lots of chili flakes. I want it to be hot and warming and like my version of my grandmother's chicken soup. My version of a healing, soothing soup. Ah, what I was going to do was make myself an aloe digest. I don't like to buy bottles, you know, of liquid if I can help it. It seems like a waste. So I get the Purium. And this is aloe digest and it's so soothing and it's sweet. So I just blend it with water. I also like to cook. I always clean up every night and I leave the kitchen spotless. And then if Josephine is coming in the morning, which she is, I'm like, well, it doesn't have to be perfect. Is that funny? I'm sure I'm not the only one, but I do you normally clean it up for her, but you know. But sometimes I'm like, no, I get to, I gotta go do the doobies. Yeah, miso is comforting. Mm. It's so easy to get dehydrated here. It's crazy. Okay, so I'm actually sometimes, usually to my veggies, I will add. But, but the cabbage is sweet, so I don't have to, I need to add sweet, but I'll add something bright, like lemon or lime or you, the vinegar, um, stuff like that. So I wrap my onion up. You don't want it to smell the fridge. I'm gonna wrap it in a rubber band. But if this is procrastinating, making yourself gorgeous food and hanging with you guys, I'm game for the procrastination because this is nurturing, nurturing, nurturing. So it's not like I'm watching something on TV. I thought this would, it smells so good, this black garlic. I think you could just eat it. Um, I don't think it's gonna be that strong for the, um, for the soup. So I might add the other extra garlic. I want it, I want it, okay. Soup, I know, soup would be, I would love to serve you some soup. That would be so great. I'm going against my rules because I have bags to bring in and um, I didn't take off my shoes, which is really weird and rare. That's okay. I normally do, always do, but I'm usually wearing Crocs and I'm wearing boots. I'm growing up. Health food is gorgeous. It is, I'm live. <laughs> Health food is everything. So like if you're gonna procrastinate or move energy, this is how you do it. You got your shiitake mushrooms. 
you have this beautiful, beautiful veggie stew that's about to happen. Celery, carrots, cabbage, onion, ginger, miso. I'm feeling good about it. I'm very good about it. <laughs> Holistic hearts. Health food is gorgeous. It really is. It's everything. It makes you beautiful. You feel beautiful when you do it. Definitely gonna need some salt. And I need a wooden spoon. And then I do need to get to my work. So, um, sorry, we're not gonna clean the kitchen together. <laughs> we will add water to the soup. Ah, kale. I promised kale. I'm getting warm. It's hot in here. Let's go get rid of the veggies. Put them in here. The veggie scraps. And then we're going to cut up the kale. A lot of kale. I could also put, um, I could put chickpeas in it, you know, if I wanted to do that. That's kind of fun. Beautiful. You're going to New York Thursday to visit your daughter. Oh. Um. Suggest you make a smoothie in the morning with lots of green powder and chia seeds and get your stuff in and then eat what you got to eat. Do what you got to do. You do the best you can wherever you are and whatever you eat, eat it with love. Like, don't freak out about it. Eat it with love. Enjoy it. If you're going to eat it and it's not your norm, have a party. <laughs> Okay, it happens. I remember I've traveled with, with, my, with my Jeffrey, with, my, with Jeffrey and Jada, and I was very strict, and I, was, I remember I would always order steamed veggies wherever we were, or steamed potato or baked potato. You know, I was very like, I used to be very, and that was, that was amazing because it was cooked. I was like, oh, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone because <laughs> it's cooked. So... I've been there. I will be. I will be the odd woman out just so I feel good enough while I'm traveling. Um, sometimes I feel better when I'm traveling. I'm just more, it's, you know, just more particular. And I always travel with some kind of goodie that I can make a smoothie. I used to make my own concoctions, the kind I found find in Purium now. I used to make for myself and take them with me, so that I could at least have the nutrients I need no matter what, and now I have Purium, so that's what I would travel with. Every day, rain or shine, I don't have hip pain anymore. All right, cool. Gorgeous soup base, now all I have to do is add water and let it stew, and hopefully not clean the kitchen. Um, it's hard for me, maybe I will, after I do some work. <laughs> your girls were laughing about you taking your Nutribullet on vacation. That's funny. What I started to do is I have a jet blender and Purium also sends a free one. When you buy your first transformation package, you can get a free one. Um, they have them and it's like little and it makes one serving and it's, it's um, USB powered. And so that's like really easy to take in your bag. Nutribullets are kind of heavy. Um, but I've done that. That's hilarious. And I would do that. So do they have a blender at their house? I love that I've been going live more often. I love that I'm here with you guys. Everybody knows I'm weird. <laughs> it's not a surprise. I am unique. But now these days, 
there's options for gluten-free things and not so bad things. Wherever we go in New York, there's plenty of consciousness. All right, I'm gonna add water. Let's do this. Beyond excited for the soup, you guys. Garlic peel. It's gonna need a little more water than that to be soup. They do have a blender, good. So you don't have to travel with it and you just go. The first thing I would do when I visit my mom is go to Whole Foods or co-op and get everything I needed. And every morning, you just gotta have your tonic and your smoothie. Take it in a mason jar on the go with you or in a thermos, um, anything like this. And then you're covered. You just take it out of your, and take a sip. I'm always traveling with this Kinto tumbler. I left one at Jada's, I leave them places. I lend people them for tonics and, but I'm obsessed because I can have my nutritious chocolate tonic in here or a matcha and I sip it throughout the day and it's fantastic. You know, I come from being so hardcore I come from being so hardcore, 10 years, 100% raw, I'd say 99% raw, and I was just strict across the board. I'd rather not eat than eat something weird that was going to make me feel terrible. So now these days, it's not hard to eat healthy, somewhat healthy, you know? It's not hard. Hi. Hi, Lori. I'm doing really well. I'm in Sedona and I'm enjoying the cellular relaxation that happens from all the nature and all the no demands. I have almost no demands other than my own demands for my work and the Doobie Oracle deck and the life direction specialist training and the art journaling I do. It's, oh, it's inner motivated and it's inner and nature um, rejuvenation. So I'm in Sedona. I'm here and I'm loving it. Like I've gotten into my groove. I made my home nice enough to feel good here. And um, I'm feeling pretty good. Don't be surprised if there's not a Vanity B trip coming up, but I'm finishing the Life Direction Specialist training. Uh, we're doing Astro Geography Specialist. Should we try the soup? What do you think? Yeah, it's all my machinations, me and Michael. I'm coming up with ways to grow the Life Tool School, which is... A school I started, it's on Instagram, and it's for everything you wish you learned in school, like your astrogeography, what energy you're swimming in, where you live, what's your trifecta, your soul's wish, what if you want to get a tarot reading, you could um, book Michelle, Tarot Love Magic on Life Tool School, and I'm just like, we're growing it, we're growing something new, so I have two startups <laughs> that are really sweet. Oh yeah. This is gonna be good. As the, my mom used to say, when everything melds together, it gets better through time. Definitely gonna add more hot. It's so good. Oh my gosh, it's a broth. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, I'm gonna shut the mushrooms. They look like they're ready to be crispy, crunchy, fatty things, <laughs> salty things. Those are good, just mushrooms on rice. We're adding more heat. Turning up the heat, take it up a notch. As Emeril used to say, my mom and I used to watch him. We need black pepper. Yep, load it up. I'm gonna put some parsley and some thyme. Thyme. She loved dill and I don't eat enough dill. Dill, dill, dill. What do I want to add? What did I say? Oh, yeah, time. I know I labeled it, here it is. I'm happy for more lives too. 
I am so glad too, Darla. Um, yeah, me too. Like, it just feels so good to be back. I don't even know what to say. Like, just so easy. Um, are you putting a doobie on the front of the box? If so, maybe, oh, yeah. Rosie's on the front so far. One to honor my mom. That's a great idea. She's the um, dedication. I was gonna do a circle of doobies around a mushroom or like a around like they're coming out of the mushroom. Um, I don't know, but I I think I think I want to make the box white with the doobies in color. I could throw like some kind of beautiful tie dye background, but so many of them look so tie dyed. Like it's gonna stand out if it's just white. So maybe Michelle, you will look at it before I decide. Um, my mom, she's B, she's B. She's the B in Vanny B. She's Beverly and she's the B. So I could have a bumblebee with Rosie. Rosie and Daisy are the mains. We used to talk about them, but actually, actually, she used to remind me of Tiger Lily, really like, and she, and her sister was Black Eyed Susan. Susan was her name, and Tiger Lily was a little bit like just out there getting herself into trouble, and Black Eyed Susan was like the shy friend, like, oh no, you know, and so my mom's feisty. She was feisty and fun and messy, and um, I just read a letter her friend Valerie wrote the year she, she wrote me a two page, three page letter after my mom passed telling me of memories and I found it and I read it and I was like, ah, oh. so I emailed Valerie and she's still alive. She's like, she must be like 80. Um, she was so happy to hear from me. So yes, thank you. I would love you to look at it. I just have to get the vision and so I'm playing with some things, but usually it's just like, I know and I'm like, I kind of know, but um, dill is a protective herb. Well, I have dill. Can it go in the soup? I guess why not? I have dried dill. Let's put some of my mom's favorite in. Thank you, Michelle. Let I, I mean, if, maybe I need to do a session to uh, see what anything comes through, through for the doobie deck because, I mean, a rose. I mean, Rosie. Rosie. I had pink roses around her when she was passing. I have painted pink roses since I was little around door jams, on tables. And when she was passing, I didn't know if I was getting her better or saying goodbye, but it's a 40 day, 40 day, 40 days. And I had pink roses in front of her at all times. So whenever I see a pink rose, I'm like, oh, so. She used to, we used to actually, it's funny that I'm holding this, this popped off the stem. These are in Vanny B. My mom used to make flowers out of ceramics and satin stuffed with things and just sculptural flower things and a leather flower and like big calla lily on a big stand that stood on the floor, like sculptural things. And Valerie was reminding me about the things that she made that Valerie still has. So one day she, yeah, small rose. So I agree with you. There should be a dill doobie for my mom. I could throw a dill doobie on the front. So she um, took these grapevine circles and she put flowers on them. And they were napkin rings. And she's like, Dara, I don't want to run this wholesale business. I've got my retail business. Do you want it? She's like, give me a dollar. So I gave her a dollar and then I would design napkin rings with her. And we would put a little, so a little bumblebee on it. We had fruits and flowers and veggie napkin rings. And we, I used to show at the Javits Center, we would design the booth that we could just carry in in these big flower bags that she would, she sewed these big flower bags so we could put the styrofoam. We designed some Thing where it was like a step of styrofoam then up then up and then we'd cover it with beautiful fabric and pin the fabric on we didn't have to go through the whole union and park and wait for the union trucks we just kind of walked in and she was so clever she was so clever and so resourceful and we used to and there would be three people deep 
ordering these napkin rings. And she, for the Javits Center show, she was the first person to put a flower on a pen and wrap it with floral tape. I remember the day the company, Two's company came by. They used to always come by because they were copiers and they, they manufactured good ideas in China. And she had this and they had it after she had it. She had it. I designed something. I took her pen. It was a flower. Then a pen wrapped in floral tape, green. And then I was like, why shouldn't we have it in a pot? In a pot. So you could just leave your pen in a terracotta pot with fake moss on top with the pen embedded in the thing. So I designed the whole thing. Um, I designed the packaging. It came in a clear cylinder. And the only place that we showed it was at her store in Short Hills. And when I showed up at the next Javits Center, someone had it. So that I know they had a spy come into her shop because we were creators. There's copiers and there's creators. And they used to come by and I could tell when they would look at our stuff to see like, how is, was it made? Um, I learned a lot. There were three people at one Javits Center show that um, they copied. But these were in Victoria Home and Gardens and they were in magazines. It was great find. We called it, um, I named it Around the Napkin. <laughs> and my brother drew the brochure and my mom, it was a whole thing. And I, it was a cottage industry where we paid people a certain, like, I figured out how many I could make in an hour and then I paid the person per piece so they could do it at their leisure. It was really fun, but it ended up being not as much design as I wanted and a lot of managing and check writing. And finally Bed Bath & Beyond ordered like 50 boxes. And, and I knew the next step was for me to manufacture in China. And I just was like, I don't think I want this mom. And no, they but they do it all the time. There's copiers, they just knock it off cheaper. I mean, the Cabbage Patch, kids was knocked off. We were at the Javits Center where the woman who made them, they were little adoptable dolls that she handmade and Xavier Roberts ended up taking them. So it does happen. I'm aware of it, but there's still magic in the original creation. Always. I will always buy the original, not a copy. Um, so I remember saying to her, I mean, we had stores there were a couple stores, like beautiful high-end tabletop stores with plates and napkins and you know the whole tabletop industry and gift stores that had them. But um, there was one woman that came, no, there was, a, there was a guy from Aspen, a beautiful store. There was a woman who came from England for her beautiful store. And she was like, you're one of the reasons I come to the Javits show. And I was like, ah. Oh. And I was like, mom, if I give this up, what about them? And she was like, Will it make you happy to give it up? And I was like, yeah. And so I went back to mural painting. But I've done a lot of things, you guys. I've garnered a lot of wisdom, wisduition. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, Darla. Insane. The soup's off the hook. It does need some brightness. Like I thought. Hi, big Indian Bindi. I want a bindi. I want my vinegar and I want a bindi. I know I've been Indian in past lives. So that's a little story. It's story time. It's story time with Dara, nighttime with Dara. Whew. Mom is up for Michelle channels my mom. So Michelle is a reader. Um, and she's on, you can find her on Instagram, Tarot Love Magic, and she's on the Life Tool School, which is my school where people, other people are going to be teaching what they know and there'll be other readers besides me. I'm a life direction specialist. But anyway, Michelle channels my mom. She, so that might be really nice. Michelle, I made a really big decision that, um, you'd be proud of. Uh, two decisions. The other one, the big one already was made. That's been made for a while. But this other decision I made today, whew, yesterday, this portal. All right, you guys, this gets to stew. And I'm very low because I don't want to evaporate the water and I will cover it. And then it's time to say bun nui. Bun nui, mon amis. <laughs> I'm going to be Indian. 
I make Indian style food all the time. I use Indian spices almost every day. I have Indian fabric in my front hallway. I love when I see Indian families in Sedona and I just listen to them. Oh, just makes me happy. So I'm gonna be free, you guys, very soon. And you know what? We create, we just keep creating. You know, they just, you just keep creating. If you're a creator, you just keep creating. So the doobies are the next. It's big decision time, like massive decision time. Like I made a decision where six months ago, seven months ago, I thought of it and everyone was like, what? No. And I was like, no. And this time I was like, it's time. And they all were like, okay, we could see that. So massive decision, massive, but it's going to lead to so much freedom. I was in a portal yesterday and it was not fun. And Sunday, no, like I, like Ben wanted to visit me and my face almost looked distorted and it was red. And I was, I get it. I was right there with you, Michelle. I was like, maybe we felt the eclipse coming. I knew that I could no longer ignore something like the eclipse energy right now is about not ignoring the thing you're ignoring not ignoring putting something on a back burner and forgetting about it it is literally paying attention to that which is causing you some disturbance in your life um, could be with relationships or your relationships with a place or a person or a thing or but it, it's in any way you're subjugating and I hope I'm using that word <laughs> subjugating subversive sub, no subversive is not it but like you are denying your own needs and I feel that it was so rough. Like I was at war with myself, like flat out war. Like I should do this, but I can't, I don't know if I can do it. And I was like, my heart hurt and it was intense. Um, I think I released something huge. Something I did release something huge. <laughs> Actually the hugest thing, if you know what I mean, like the hugest, not like person huge, but like thing huge. Mm-hmm. I did and I feel good about it and I'm ready for it and I'm like bring it on I want this to happen and that is a really good way to go in into something like that because there will be emotional moments perhaps but I think I went through them this weekend so that I don't have to go through them again I think I felt them all because I knew I'm like if I do this thing there's going to be mourning there's going to be mourning and I think I went through it I released it so yes and Sunday I felt bad because I had to activate the thing that I decided and it was hard for me to do. And then almost as soon after I did it, I was like, okay, something shifted. And the next morning when I woke up this morning, I was like, I went through a portal. And then I looked down at my phone and my friend Lisa was like, you went through a portal after I told her what I did. And she was like, I was like, I just thought of that word. So I love you guys. I'm so happy, Michelle, you get to go to sleep. Sweet dreams, whoever's East Coasty or late nighty. Yeah, I feel lighter. Michelle, Saturday and Sunday was rough over here too. Wow. Wow. So it's not us. It's not just us. I think everybody's going to be going through it. Subsuming. When you put your someone else's needs... So versus the sneaky sub sub what word did I say subjugating I don't even know why I use that word what does that word even mean I, I have an unusual vocabulary sometimes but usually I know what they mean subjugating we can look it up yeah 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 I think we are um going through it everyone's going to be poked it's conjunct Chiron Aries wants to like do it and gets angry and wants to take action. And Karen's like, you know where you're going to be taking action? Take, looking at what's what's not working. We're in deep. I don't know what subsuming is either, but make a comment when I post this video because I like to see the comments. They, they come in as notifications, um, the likes and the comments. So I love you guys, and I'm going to go probably clean up because I won't be able to think straight if I don't clean up. Subsume my needs. Okay, cool. I subsume my needs, but I get inspired when I get defensive about others. Huh. I think subsume could be the word. Why do you get inspired when you get defensive about others? 
Hmm. Hmm. Well, in any case, thank you for that word, the new word subsuming. And I will see you guys really soon. Don't forget thumbs up. I see some people here that didn't thumbs up. <laughs> I love you too. I'm going to enjoy my soup with a little white rice and a little bit of Purium Aloe Digest. I suggest, thank you, Darla. I suggest everyone watch that live because I said something in it on Instagram. It's easier to fight for others, difficult to fight for ourselves. Yes, Shager, that I can understand. It is I don't know how you pronounce your name. Rahman Rashid. Beautiful name. I think it is Shagar. Shagar. I don't know. It would be pronunciation on the second syllable. But um, that's the point of this Aries Chiron conjunction. The soul. The solar eclipse of it is to the solar eclipse of it. <laughs> it. The point of it is to see where we're wounded, but stand up for ourselves. Like ask ourselves what we need. So now I'm going to go have my soup. Love you guys. And I will see you super soon. Like tomorrow. Ah, uh, thank you. It's the masculine of Shakira. Shakir. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, wow, that's how you pronounce it. Shakir, beautiful, I'm so get, glad I asked. Nice meeting you, everybody. I know you've been here before, but that's beautiful. Shakir, huh. love it. Love you guys, and I'll see you soon.